Hey there, Alex Kidman here, and today I'm taking a look at the Arlo Pro 5 2K. The Arlo Pro 5 2K is another in a long line of Arlo home security cameras, and there's a few tweaks that actually make this stand out from the pack, as well as a few catches that you really do need to be aware of. So let's take a look. So first of all, the design. So here it is, or here's one of them anyway. You can buy them either as single, two-pack, or four-packs of cameras. Obviously, the four-pack costs more than the two-pack or the single camera module. But look, in design terms, there's not a lot between this and, say, for example, the Pro 4 cameras, or indeed, practically any Arlo camera I've tested over many, many years. They like their white cameras, they like them to be heavy, they like them to be screw mountable, they're magnetic so you can clip them onto things. It's all a pretty good tried and tested design and all of that is fairly fine. Now the casing is kind of interesting, it pops off from the base here and you end up with the battery inside there that is removable as well as well as the external casing which is just basically a connector for the battery charger and then a fairly weighty little metal plate in there. It's all a fairly good design again, uh, nice and easy to deal with for when you do need to recharge or if you had hot swappable batteries, yeah in theory that would work. I don't so I can't really comment on that but yeah, in theory, that's all quite good. Now, Arlo states a lot of its cameras as being IP65 for water resistance. Here, they just say they're weather resistant, which can be a little bit of a pause for thought. I suspect they probably are IP65, and it's just that the specs page doesn't list it quite right. But it's something that's worth keeping in mind if you're in really kind of hostile conditions. It's also worth noting that the charging cable is really specifically not rated for outdoor use. And that's kind of important because if you did want to wire it in permanently, well, yeah, the warranty is not really going to cover that. I really do wish they'd gone for standard USB-C wireless charging rather than the little custom magnetic thing they've got on these. But maybe that'll come with the next model. So what about performance? Well, first of all, you've got to set them up and that involves using the Arlo Secure app. Now, Arlo's app has evolved over the years and the latest version is fine. It's fairly easy to use, fairly simple and quick to set up cameras. Uh, Arlo sent me two cameras to test with and I got them set up and working in fairly short order. I had one set up towards my backyard to try and catch neighborhood cats frolicking around in the middle of the night. That one didn't really pick up anything, but that may have just been an absence of cats, really. Whereas the one I set up in my carport to detect couriers, yeah, that picked up a lot of stuff. So what's the actual video quality like? Well, it's up to 2K, and I'll show you a little short sample here just of me. Now, it's handheld, so there's a bit of wobble, which you wouldn't actually get in the real thing. So what about video quality? Well, this is it. It is utterly blinding me staring at this light, by the way, but I suppose that's the point as well. You want your burglar to know that they're being watched. Uh, the illumination works well, the camera works well in most low light conditions. I'm shooting myself because for privacy reasons I don't really want to show any of the other visitors to my house, that's not fair to them. But look, it all works fairly well, it has a pan and zoom feature that does drop the quality a bit, but again, that can work quite well. I'm basically quite happy with the video quality out of this particular security camera. So yeah, look, that's not exactly Hollywood cinema quality, but it works, it's perfectly functional. And the other aspect that I particularly liked about the Arlo Pro 5 2K was the speed of notification. So the camera that I had set up in my carport, I've also got a Google Nest Spotlight Cam set up there, and I've got a Ring Video Doorbell, so I could really give them a little bit of a shootout. Same network, same conditions, and pretty much every single time, the Arlo would alert me that someone was coming before the Google or before the Nest worked. Now, none of them did a terrible job, nobody was able to get into my home, but the Arlo was that little bit sharper, that little bit quicker at sending its signal through to me. Although, obviously, it does still take a bit of time for those video files, if that's what you need, to actually come up through to the cloud. It's also worth noting that the Arlo Pro 5 2K is dual band Wi-Fi. Now that's quite nice if you've got a five gigahertz capable network within range. A lot of these security cameras are 2.4 only, so it's nice to see dual band in play. So all of this is really good. All of this works pretty well. The spotlight works really well. It's super, super bright, as you saw in that video. Kind of painfully bright unless you dial it down a bit. But maybe you want that because maybe you want to alert a burglar to say, hey, I don't want you to burgle my house. Who would want that in the first place, really? The catch here, though, and this is a long-term catch, and this is certainly not unique to Arlo, is that a lot of the best features in terms of object detection and tracking, and especially cloud recording, are all hidden behind a subscription layer. So that subscription layer is called Arlo Secure, 
And if you don't pay for it, then the cameras are significantly more limited. You get a 30-day trial when you buy the cameras. But I think some people might get a little bit of a shock if after a month, suddenly their cameras stop doing a bunch of stuff that they were doing beforehand. Here in Australia, Arlo charges $4.99 Australian a month for a single camera subscription or $14.99 a month for an unlimited camera subscription. There is a more expensive tier above that, but that's for 4K recording, which these cameras are never going to do. So unless you've got a lot of other Arlo cameras, including 4K capable models, that would be a waste of money. What you've really got to bear in mind there is basically you're talking around $180 a year to run these cameras in their best mode. I can't really advocate for them if you're not prepared to do that. You've got to weigh that into your buying decision. It's really rather important. In terms of battery life, now this is an interesting one because Arlo's claim is that it's got 30% better battery life than the Arlo Pro 4, specifying up to eight months of battery life off a single charge. Can it do eight months? Well, honestly, I don't know. And the reason I don't know is because I haven't had this thing for eight months to find out. I'm going to say I have my doubts because over the span of about a month, I've seen these drop by about 20 to 25%. The carport one, only a couple of percentage more than the one pointing out towards my backyard, which was interesting to me because the carport one was much, much busier. But regardless, that would seem to suggest maybe four months is capable. Now, that's still a pretty good figure, of course. If you've only got to charge them every four months, that's not so bad, but it's not quite eight months anyway. As I noted before, they also use a custom charging cable, this little magnetic fella here. And look, I'm not a big fan. Yes, it's pretty easy to clip in. Yes, it works. And yes, you even get a charger in the box, which is not bad. But I would much rather this was USB-C just because it's much more easily replaceable. If you lose this, if it breaks over time, then you're in real trouble. You'll have to actually buy a really specific part if Arlo still makes it at that time. And that I really don't like. I'm not a big fan of the limited lifespan of some of these cameras. And that's a cross-range kind of thing. That's not just something that Arlo has to deal with. But when you make the charging really specific, you make it that much harder to recommend. But would I recommend the Arlo Pro 5 2K? Look, ultimately, yes. What it's designed to do, it does really rather well. But you do have to factor in that subscription cost. That's really important here when you're considering the total cost of ownership, as they say in enterprise land, for this particular set of cameras. Anyway, that's my take on the Arlo Pro 5 2K. Got any thoughts? Anything you want to know? Hit me up in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit like and subscribe.